It has been unreal, and the challenge has been trying to keep up with the demand. That's what most gun shops in the triad are seeing. 2020 was a year filled with unrest, a presidential election, and a pandemic. And talking with her customers, Pam Brinkley said that's all played in their spike in sales. Our older uh, customers that said, I never thought I would own a gun. Never. But they just don't feel safe because people are home more, they're watching television more, and they're more in tune with what is going on. Places like SCB Guns and Ammo have also seen triple the business since March when the pandemic first began. Where they would typically see a downward turn even on an election year, sell numbers got high. That is causing gun and ammo manufacturers to not be able to keep up. It's just unbelievable. There are some calibers of ammo that you just cannot get your hands on. I've seen everybody all walks of life. Uh, 18 years old all the way to uh, the, the oldest one that I remember in 2020 was a 96 year old. The Forsyth County Sheriff's Office has also felt that increase from 2019 to 2020. Purchase permits increased more than 10,000, almost three times as much as the year before. Concealed carried permits went up more than 2,000. Uh, a concealed application, uh, you're going to have to take the, the, the gun safety course, which depending on where you go is going to be about $100, give or take, whereas a purchase permit, it's just $5 a piece. So in the last presidential election, concealed carried permits increased only 836 between years, while purchase permits went up 920. It was like when Obama was in office, our business, business was high. You know, it was crazy until Trump won it, and once he won it, it leveled off.